Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the course, How Jesus Built His Church from Generations. I've had a lot of messages about this curriculum because it is brand new, and you guys know I've been prepping this, so I've been reading the textbook, and so everybody wants to hear the basics of the course, what it's like, what this entails. So I'm going to give you the best overview I can having read about two months worth of the class. If it's your first time here, I want to tell you welcome. Make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button and down below in the description box, I have a link to not just this curriculum, but free trials, coupons, all kinds of cool things to sign up for. And there's a link for our Christian Facebook group too. Okay. So just the basics about this course, this is a history class from Generations. Generations is one of my absolute favorite curriculum companies. You guys know I buy pretty much anything that Generations will put out. And this one came out this year, so this is very new. Um, I think this summer they just started shipping out the copies. I think I got my copy, I wanna say maybe eight weeks ago or so. Maybe, maybe less than that. So I haven't even had this in my hands for that long. However, I jumped right in because I wanted, I knew I wanted to prep all of the courses over the summer this year. So I wanted to make sure that I had my copy so I could start reading the book, taking my notes, getting my anchor charts ready, all of that fun stuff. So we are using this class a little bit different. Some of my other videos I told you we are actually using this class for both of my kids and it's going to be their Bible class this year because I already have a history for the both of them. So we actually don't need this class. But I'm gonna tell you what they actually tell you that this class is for in the credits and things like that. So because both of my kids are going to be doing this class, I have two workbooks but I have one textbook. They're, they're just gonna share the textbooks, you know, limited funds here, so I did not worry about buying two textbooks, but I did buy two workbooks because the workbooks are pretty cheap, and I didn't feel like I needed to have them share a workbook. So in your actual workbook here, you have what is called the course introduction, and your student workbook is also a teacher book. So they don't have separate student and teacher books here. So it's going to save you space, which is another thing that I really like about them. I'm running out of bookshelves and I just don't have the room. <laughs> okay, so in the overview, and if you check it out online as well, this class is in their middle school section. And it actually says grade seven at the top or level seven at the top. It's level seven. It says level seven at the top, which is kind of like their grade levels. You don't have to follow it to a T or anything, but it just gives you a good idea of where your child should be with, with these books. So you don't have, you know, a kindergartner doing something for, you know, an eighth grader. So with that, they suggest level seven or grade seven, but this is actually meant for grade seven through nine, and it will count as a world history or church history class. So that's kind of where this will lie. And it does really go over, you know, a lot of world history because you're talking about church history from the time of Jesus's birth all the way to modern day, just to give you an idea of where this lands. It's gonna give you such a large overview of world history because church history is world history. So that's about where it is for that. This is a Protestant Christian curriculum. You know, obviously it's a Christian curriculum, but I do feel like I need to, to make that clear here. And in your student book, you will find everything from the suggested schedule to exams to the answer key, things like that. Everything's gonna be in this book here. Now, if you go into the suggested schedule, this looks like a three day a week class for 36 weeks. You do not have to follow that schedule to a T because remember it's our homeschools. We can do it however we want, but it is broken up to where you can spread this out for 36 weeks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of thing. And they have built in flex days during the week. Now your flex days are optional days to just do what you want to do. 
So your flex day, you can catch up on assignments or you don't have to do anything at all. Or you can go back over the reading if you want to do that. There's so many things that you can do. You can also do the optional projects on those days too because I do believe that there are optional projects built into this curriculum as well. Now, because this is a little bit higher of a level, we're not in elementary anymore, they do have things like exams and essays built into this, which is where the IEW curriculum is gonna come in really handy because my kids are learning how to create essays and write those essays. So I feel like that gives them extra practice for structure and style. So really happy about that. And I know I'm gonna see those skills come over from structure and style, which I'm happy about. So I have read about eight weeks of this curriculum. I am up to chapter nine or 10, I believe. This has been a fantastic book. And I every time I read a chapter, I would tell my husband about it and I would say, look at this, you gotta, you gotta check this out. And I would show him something in there that I either learned myself or that I didn't know or that I thought was really neat. And he also was like, wow, this is such a neat book. So he actually asked and volunteered to teach this class to the kids as their Bible class. So he's like, you know, we should do this together so we can all, you know, learn together as a family while we're going through this. So that just kind of solidified my, um, my reasoning to make this into a Bible curriculum because we always do Bible together as a family, kind of like a family worship um, type of thing. And I'm really glad that he said that because now I get to hand this over to him, but I get to read it too. <laughs> so he, this is the textbook. The textbook and the workbook look very much alike. And this is not a hardback book. It is kind of like a, a heavy cardstock cover, which is fine. These held up fine last year. I never had a problem with them. And like many of their books, the photography is on point with these with this book as well. Really happy to see so many beautiful pictures in here. Pictures I never would have found unless I did like crazy internet digging. And I, I just I think it's put together absolutely beautifully. It's very colorful, but the reading is so rich. Like some of these chapters took me a little while to get through because I just wanted to absorb and soak in all of this information. So another thing that I'm doing, because I know we're going to rabbit trail on some of these topics. So one of the topics that I knew I was gonna wanna learn more about because I personally didn't know a whole lot about it and I thought it would be a cool one for the kids was Constantine's Rule. And I decided we should maybe on the flex day in week one and two, take a little bit of extra time. So what I'm doing on some of those flex days is I am using this brand new website called Amy and you type in anything that you want to learn more about. Like, let's say it's like a unit study topic or um, just, you know, anything you want to know about or want a lesson plan for and Amy creates the lesson plan for you within like a couple seconds. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. This is like the coolest thing ever. And now I have an entire lesson plan that I did not have to make about Constantine. <laughs> and all I did was just print it out from my computer. They give you like a PDF. I stapled it together and I'm just putting it inside of my lesson plan book. And on the flex days for that week, I'm gonna use this. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for the flex days because I don't want to not do anything on, on all of those days. I do wanna have you know something prepared for some of those days. So I thought using Amy would be a great way for me to do that. So if you wanna learn more about Amy, because this, this video is obviously not about Amy, but if you wanna know more about this, let me know in the comments. This is really cool. I'm, I'm so impressed by this. I, all I wanted was just some extra information. And not only did this give me extra information, but it gave me like actual assignments the kids could do. It could do math problems and like math assignments and even like a little quiz at the end. Bonus material, Bible study. I didn't have to do any of this. Like I literally just typed it in like, you know, information about Constantine and it did it for me. And I just had to print it out. The neatest thing, right? I mean, it's like a homeschool mom on the computer doing all the lessons for you. I mean, that was a huge time saver. So 
I know I want to do this on some of my flex days, so I'm creating the topics that I want to do for flex days throughout some of the weeks, and I'm just going to print these out, and I think that that's what we're going to do to kind of um, go over some of the information that we've already learned, relate it to the new information, and just kind of keep that fresh in their minds on those flex days. So cool thing to have. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to know more about Amy and I might do like a dedicated video and show you how like this whole thing works so you can get a good idea of what this is and how you can use it as well. So that's how I'm going to treat the flex days and I have already made like some really cool anchor charts and I, I, you know, I don't know how my husband wants to teach it, but I want to make sure that I have, you know, materials and things for him to do that because he's going to be having surgery at the beginning of our homeschool year. So we might be, you know, going back and forth a little bit, but it's going to be good. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do it together as a team. And I'm really, really impressed just by this book, just to give you a, a really fast flip through so you can see some of the pictures. Now, another thing that we're going to be doing for this year is we are doing this class together called Great Christian Stories for Literature. And this is also by Generations. And one of the books that we are reading for this, because it's the, the school year is split up into four chunks and each section of the school year, you're reading one book. One of those books is Fox's Book of Martyrs. And in the beginning of this book, many of the martyrs talked about in Fox's Book of Martyrs are in their textbook. So I was like, you know what? I know they're not supposed to read Fox's book first, but I'm gonna flip flop it a little bit and we're gonna read Fox's book first. So it lines up with this. So we have some like cross referencing going on and the, the Fox's Book of Martyrs is actually going to expand upon some of the people that are maybe a little bit more glossed over just because there's so much going on in one chapter. Now, the chapters for each week are broken up. And if you've used any generation's curriculum, especially their history, then you will understand what I'm talking about here. As far as how your week is broken up, you're basically gonna be working Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in many of the chapters, but the schedule does change a little bit as you go along. So you really need to reference that schedule at the very beginning. And basically you are gonna be reading one chapter a week but you're gonna be breaking up the reading however you want in that. So they basically suggest you read the first half the first day that you're supposed to be reading and the second half the second day that you're supposed to be reading. And you're going to complete each assignment after you finish that half. So let's say Monday. Monday you're gonna be reading the first half of chapter one and completing the assignments. On Wednesday you're gonna be reading the second half and then completing the assignments. So you're not gonna be reading just Monday and Wednesday and then doing all of the assignments on Friday. You're going to be doing the assignments as you do the reading and they are done open book. Now I do the exams as they say in here, closed book. Um, but I have never found that it was too difficult for my kids or anything like that. They've always been able to do the assignments very easily closed book. But just for reference, they do suggest that after the kids do the chapter reading that they do the assignments open book and then that they do the exams closed book. Now I'm one of those families that uses a cover school because we're a military family. No, I do not give out that information for personal reasons and safety of my children, but we do use a cover school and we have to have grades to submit to the cover school. So that is what I use. I use the, the, um, the assignments and the exams as a way to create those grades for the transcripts and things like that. So it's actually very helpful for my family to make sure that we have some kind of thing to grade so I have something to record. So these books, again, are fantastic. These are very affordable. Generations has sales going on all the time. If you are not on my email list, make sure you get on my email list. I send out a notification. I will send out more than one email during the week when they have the sales going on so you don't miss them. I typically buy during the sales but there are times when I buy off sale just because I need something, but it never breaks the banks. So that is awesome for um, homeschooling families. So I got this entire course because I bought it on sale for like, for two kids, I think I paid less than $100 for all three of these books because I got things on sale and I did very well with that. So 
Um, huge shout out to Generations for creating affordable Christian homeschooling curriculum for all of us homeschooling parents. And huge shout out to Amy because this is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in my entire life as a homeschooling parent and as a teacher. Can I just say, this would have been so useful when I was teaching in the classroom. This would have made my life so much easier, but I'm glad that I have it now because it makes my homeschooling life a lot easier and it's gonna make things a lot more fun because now I feel like I can kind of rabbit trail or as one of my very close friends says, squirrel away on something else. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun on those flex days. And then um, we are going to be following the schedule. I do plan on following the schedule for this. So this will be broken up, broken up into 36 weeks for us. So we will get an, an entire year of this course. Very happy, very excited to start this class. You do not have to do what I do and use it as Bible. You can use it as history. It is totally fine as a world history program. My son just really wanted to do American history this year. So I honored that and we got the American history units from Not Grass. So that's what we're going to be doing. Would I recommend this course? 150% I would recommend this class. This is a fantastic class so far. And I want to say out of all of the classes, I think this is the one that I've enjoyed prepping the most because I've enjoyed reading it the most. So this one has been such a joy to read for me. I feel like I'm learning so many things. And one thing that, you know, and I've said this before in other videos, one thing that I feel like is not taught as much or as widely as it should be today in American churches is church history. I grew up in your regular evangelical church and, you know, we really did not go over this stuff. Um, I know probably it's probably the same for many of you. I know if, if you did learn this stuff, you're probably the exception, not the rule, and count yourself as very blessed. I have just read Fox's Book of Martyrs for the first time this year because I did not even know that it was really out there. All I knew was the teenage version of Jesus Freaks. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I'm really happy to, you know, feel like I'm learning this stuff now and I'm really getting a good grasp on this. It's so important that we teach this stuff to our kids young and you know because I have never learned it I'm going to be learning it for the first time with my kids so we all get to learn it together and I think this is going to be such a fun year. I'm really excited and I'm excited to do a class again with all of us together. It's been gosh I want it has to have been more than five years since we've done a class together. Um, it's been it's been a long time my kid it just hasn't worked out for us any other way but i really miss doing classes together with the kids so you know my my oldest only has two more years left until he he'll he'll be a high school graduate and going off to college so i'm really happy to be able to do two of these classes and i feel like two very important classes with him foundational for his faith um, before he, he goes off into, you know, the real world and college and all of that fun stuff. So this will be, this will be great for us to spend together time as a family. And I think I'm, I'm really happy to be able to spend this time with my family and learning the word, learning our history as Christians and teaching these very important things to our kids. So no, I haven't read the entire thing. So if you give me a bunch of very specific questions. I'm probably not gonna be able to answer it. I've only read up to week nine or 10. So, you know, just keep that in mind before you send your questions to me down below. I might, I, I will probably end up having to refer you over to Generations customer service because one, I don't work for them. So I haven't read the whole thing. And two, I don't, I, I haven't read it, so I don't know, but um, I will try to answer any that I actually do know. All right, that is all I have for this video. This was so much fun to go over with you guys. I know you guys are going to love this one. I'm so impressed by this one. I'm so impressed by Amy, and I'm so glad I have this, this cool tool to help me with the other, you know, flex days and, and things like that, because now I have something to kind of, um, 
to, to go off of and I'll have some extra cool things to do with my kids. So super happy about that. Thank you for the Amy team for sending that to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy homeschooling.